Uh, good morning, YouTube. Um, I want to do a topic about one of my favorite items, and that is guns, firearms. Yes, awesome. Second Amendment, all that. <sighs> when are people going to stop? You can't take your gun for a walk. You can't ask it what it wants to do. And a gun sure as shit is not going to kill people. It's the person wielding the weapon, holding the gun, that's responsible on whether or not someone dies from it. Do I think there should be extensive background checks? Of course. Yes. Yes. Psychological profile, background check, the whole nine. You know, if a person seems a little off, then yeah, be like, hey, I'm sorry, but you got to fill out this form and, you know, go make an appointment to sit down and talk to this person. Make sure that you're okay to have this gun, you know, make sure you're not some weirdo, lunatic, whatever. But aside from that, let's, let's really get to the heart of the matter. Um, the Second Amendment, it is our right to uh, bear arms. It is our right to have a gun to protect ourselves from everything from whether it be a wild animal whether it be a criminal douchebag or whether it be our own tyrannical government whatever it may be we have that opportunity we have that right the second amendment right is yes we can use a gun to defend ourselves ah, excuse me um but let's get to the heart of the matter let's go way back <clears throat> excuse me way back to the root of it all our ancestors came from Europe. We practically stole money from the crown to come here and to colonize. And then we turned on England and said, uh, up yours, <laughs> our place now, what do you do about it? So, of course, England sends people over here to straighten our asses out. And we end up winning. So we have ourselves a free country. However... Let's also look at who we stole it from. We didn't just come over here as the good guys. America's not the good guy. We're just the ones with the bigger stick. Um, you know, obviously there were natives here. Native Americans were here. And yes, on some hands, yeah, we were peaceful. We, we were prosperous and we traded with them and so on and so forth. But the other hand, there were people that just slaughtered them and just took shit. So when I hear about how, you know, a lot of people are saying... America the beautiful, America great, you know, yeah, we're awesome, all that shit. But we're really not. We're we're just another group of thieves that stole something. And now we lay claim to it. And you know that you know how it is. You've seen the videos on YouTube, you know, you you you've seen this shit. Um, you know, America's great and all that, but yet when you turn around and look at it, we jacked it from the Indians, you know, and you know who knows where the Indians got it from. Maybe they just kind of wandered over here and took it over because no one else was here or whatever. Who knows? I didn't live back then, so I don't know. I just know about what, uh, you know, research I've done and opinions and so on and so forth. But as far as do I think guns should be taken out of civilians' hands? No. No, absolutely not. You know, obviously, if that civilian has some issues, well... Who the fuck sold it to him? You know, where did he get the guns from? He or she. So, yeah, I think uh, psychological profiling and background checks are all things that need to be done for people that own a firearm. But as far as banning them outright, that's just silly shit. You know, Hitler did that when he took over Germany. You know, took uh, took everybody's weapons away. Um, sorry the video's taking so long, but <clears throat> this is a big issue out there right now. And uh, the other thing I'd like to add is, why is there armed guards in banks and high-end jewelry stores and the such, but yet we can't have, like, say, an unemployed veteran with with a with a pistol patrolling our kids' schools to avoid our kids' schools being shot up? Sounds like a great idea to me. There's soldiers out there that need a job. They're trained to use firearms and good judgment. You don't got to worry when there's a soldier in your kid's school because, you know, that guy's trained. He's trained. He's a soldier. He, he, he or she, sorry, 
he or she is trained to use that firearm and trained to protect people. That's what they're designed to do. That's what they're trained to do. So why can't we employ our veterans? Why can't we employ our hardworking soldiers by saying, hey, if you have a handgun, go guard the schools. If you don't, go get one, you know? You don't gotta you don't gotta interfere with with what's going on, but you know, kind of patrol the perimeter, that kind of thing, and keep kids safe. Why why can't we do that? Because government won't pay them. Um, so my uh, in closing, my bottom opinion, my bottom line opinion is, guns are all right. Guns ain't gonna do anything to anybody. It's the person holding the gun that's gonna do things. But you know, in reality. You don't need a gun to kill somebody. You can use a paper clip to kill somebody. You can use a piece of paper to kill somebody. You know, you can... There's there so many millions of ways to kill somebody. You, you don't need a gun. You know, yeah, people usually use guns to kill people because it's more convenient. It's quicker and easier, like baking a cake or cleaning a toilet bowl. So, no, don't take our guns away. That's stupid. Instead, you know... Um, Get better at uh, judging people, you know, background checks, that kind of thing. Well, it's about time for me to get to work. So, till we meet again, YouTube, enjoy. You keep watching, I'll keep making. Comment, like, subscribe, share, etc, etc, you know what to do. I really appreciate every comment and every view. Much appreciated. Till the next rant. Laters.